Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Nelson, Nelson. Antonio, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, no. Hi, good evening, Natalie. Uh, Christopher, Adriana. Okay, Lucy, Lucy, I got you. I got your message. I got Adriana's message too. Okay, yes, I got you guys. You. Yes, yes. Antonio, Christopher, how are you? Tired. Really? Why? Well, I just I'll. In 10 minutes ago, I arrived at my home since 5.30. <laughs> so, 5.30 a.m.? Yes, p.m. Wow. So, yes, you, so feel, you feel tired? Yes, the traffic is awful. <laughs> yes, I know. Especially at this time, it's really, really awful. Yes, because w today is the last day of the, the, the month, so mm -hmm. the people... I uh, has to to go to shopping, wherever. So the Trump, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, they, have to, they have but... to do a lot, of, a lot of things, you know. They got paid, <laughs> they got paid. So now they're gonna go spend the money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we are we are here right now. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, we are tired. I know it's it's we're physically tired, but we are here to to continue you not know, making the network. What happened to you yesterday, Christopher? We didn't see you yesterday. Yes, I I had to disconnect because I not I connected with my own computer, not the computer from my my, my job. Okay. So I don't know where I I put the charger of the computer, so the battery is died. And yes, died. So the battery died. I, I can I can connect. I understand. I understand. I thought you were sick or that you were busy. Yeah, no, 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 no. All right. It happens, you know, it happens. Yeah, it happens. Sorry. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, the good thing is that you're here, Christopher, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're here again. Yes. All right. Okay, uh, hello, Isabel, Antonio. How are you guys? How's everything? How are you, sir? Good? Bad? Yes, all good. All good? Okay, excellent, excellent. Yes. That's, that's good. You look happy. Yes. Okay. Hey, excellent, excellent. Okay, we need we need your happiness. Please share. Share your yes, happiness. I... Share your happiness with us. We we need happiness. Right. Excellent. Uh, how was your day, Isabel? Um. Very good. Very good. Easy? Yeah. Difficult? Relatively easy. easy. I'm sorry? Um, relatively easy. Okay. Relatively easy. All right, all right. Wait, this thing is easy. Apparently, it's frozen. All of it is gone. Okay. Thank you, Isabel. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> Hello, Gabriel. Ivan. Antonio, how are you, Antonio? I'm great, teacher. All right. How was your day? Uh, was a little easy today. A little easy. Okay. Excellent. So you don't feel tired? No. No more complicated. I... I I get at home early. I got I got off. Got off. I got off. I got off. Mm -hmm. I got off early. Okay, okay, that's good. I mean, you you started resting earlier. That's good. So I don't know. I don't know if it is my computer. I think it's my computer. It's acting up. It's very very slow. Like this. Really. Yes, trying to make it work, but it, okay. I think it's ready now. So, 
Okay, excellent. Uh, very good. All right, all right. Ivan, hello, Pamela, thank you for being here. Christian, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. Hi, Pamela, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Sorry, but I, my connection is very slow. So I I don't have the, the camera on. Okay, but you are there, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you for letting me know. Yes. Uh, it's the connection is bad globally, you know. It's it's very bad. <clears throat> My internet has been has been like this because of the wind. It has been unstable. Right now it is stable because you know it's 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 night, but during the day it's very unstable because of the wind. The wind causes the the, the internet to fail. Okay, that's not good. All right. Very good. Guys, do you remember the topic that we were talking about yesterday? Or do you remember anything about yesterday's class? Tell me, what do you remember? Hello? Let me choose a person then. Okay, let me see. Ivan, hello. Ivan, are you there? No. He's not there. Okay. Antonio, can you tell us a little bit about yesterday's class? <clears throat> okay, teacher. Thank you. Yes, uh, I remember about assessing risk. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Yes, it like, it's like uh, in Spanish evaluation. Mm -hmm. And I remember we talked to about the assessment. Uh, if we heard the term risk as assessment, mm -hmm. And I remember we talked to about organi organization designing the, the train. Okay. But uh, yes, but I, I I don't I don't know a lot of about this topic because it's a little difficult, complicated. Okay, okay. That's okay, that's okay. All right, all right. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you, Antonio, for your participation. Okay, uh, Antonio was saying that yesterday we were talking about assessing risks, okay? Yes, we were talking about that and I was, we were also talking or uh, studying some synonyms of this word. All right, one more person, let me see. Fatima, what do you remember about yesterday's class? I'm sorry, hi. <laughs> Hello, about uh, the risk. Danger mm -hmm. and okay. about it's... office hazard. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, yes. Substances. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. So basically, we're talking about hazards, danger, risks, uh, jeopardy. And uh, there are words that we were looking at yesterday. That's okay, that's okay. Now we got 11 people. I'm going to take attendance and then we're going to continue dealing with today's topic. Hold on, give me a moment here. Oh guys, did you get, did you get the, the link for the survey today? No, teacher. No? Okay, it's okay, it's Tuesday. You might get it tomorrow. Yes. Remember, we don't do the survey, all right? We do it, I mean, we don't do it individually. We do it here as a group with everybody, okay? Yes. So if you get the link, do not open it. Just confirm the email that you have received the information, but don't do anything else, okay? Remember, it's, it's uh, you can do it only one time. You cannot repeat it. If you make a mistake, then uh, you might, 
uh, well, you might put in jeopardy your, your continuation with the next level or the next module in this case. Let me take attendance, Adriana Maria Turcios. Adriana is here. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. <clears throat> Christian Alexander Ayolo Delgado. Present teacher. Yes. Christopher Spiti Chipawa. Present teacher. Yes. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Uh, wait, I need to see your message, Gabriel. Uh, okay. Okay, Gabriel. Thank you very much. I'm sorry about your sick. Thank Take you. medicine, okay? Take some medicine or, or, or some antibiotics. Yes, it might help you a little. Yes. Hector Francisco Morales. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Holman Saul Girón. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. Luis Inaz Ali Juarez. Okay. Yes, thank you. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Nelson Antonio Rodas. Present teacher. Yes. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Wait, I, I saw him. Yes, yes, thank you, uh, Oscar. Let me see Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Present teacher. Yes, Roberto Carlos Cruz. And uh, Rosalina Alvarado. Okay. Oh, Hector is, is getting here. Hector. Uh, let me see here. Hector Francisco Morales. Let me Present uh, teacher. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. I got you. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's I'm it. Sorry. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> yes. No, it's late. It's late for connect, but the traffic is very, very, very monster. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was that was uh what Christopher was talking about too. That the traffic is really bad today. Okay. Uh, all right, we're gonna start and I wanna sh start by, by, by uh, finishing the activity we didn't finish yesterday. Yes, and it's this one. Let me share the book with you all. Mm, well, I'm sharing the book with you guys. Yesterday we're talking about this, right? We finished with this one. Let me know when you get this, when you get to see the, 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 the sharing. We finish this one, this one too. All right. So we need to continue with electricity and fire hazards. Guys, uh, what can you mention about electricity and fire hazards? Mention some problems or some uh, dangers or some risks in this area. Guys, hello. <clears throat> <clears throat> safety helmet. I'm sorry. Safety helmet. Safety. Uh huh. Mm. More helmet. Yes, yes. But look at the question or the, the the indication. Brainstorm examples of workplace hazards. And you said ah. helmet, right? No use helmet. Ah, okay. There you go. Yes. Okay. No use of helmets. All right, that's one. Let's continue. Let's continue. Mention more. Mention more. No, you can do it. You can do it. Mention more. Teacher. Yes, Christian. Uh, wire uh, electricity without gloves. 
Repeat, please. Uh, wire or wiring electricity without gloves. Without what, sorry? Uh, without gloves or uh, uh, guantes, I don't know. Oh, gloves, gloves, yes. Okay, you said wire, wire, yes? Yes, uh, like uh, cable. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, wire, wire. That'll be wire. We know the sorry. Okay. Let's mention another one. One more. Anybody mention the other one, please? No. Okay. Slips, trips, and fall risk. Falls risks. Guys, what about this one? What can you mention about this one? Slips, trips, and fall falls risks. Inappropriate shoes, teacher. Okay. Inappropriate shoes. Okay. Uh -huh. Wet floors. Uh, I was about to mention that one. Wet floor, yes. Wet floor. What else? Teacher, um, stairs with no, uh, how do you say, como barandal o o pasamano? Handles, let's say handles. Okay. Yeah, it's true, right? It's dangerous. Those things are dangerous. Okay, this is the activity that we were doing yesterday. We finished with the office hazards, hazardous uh, substances, and now we have finished these two. We can continue coming up with more, okay? Because we have a lot of problems, a lot of dangers in a place. Yes. Now let me stop here. Let me stop doing this. And let's go down here to now page number 35. On page 35, you're gonna find this. This topic is very interesting. I like it, it's quite simple to understand. And I will explain that to you later on. The grammar topic, I mean. Look, I will be able to provide safety measures to control risks at the production plan. Provide safety measures to control risks at the production plant. Okay. Guys, what is measures? Measure or safety measures? Medidas de seguridad. Medidas. Okay. Okay. Very good. We got a question here. Let me make this bigger. We have a question here. Are you manufacturing plants dangerous place? Are you manufacturing plants dangerous places? Wait. Excuse me, yeah, yeah. Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? People. Are manufacturing places or plants dangerous to work? What can you say about this? I believe I I believe yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Maybe for for the I don't know use a hammer or or not tierra como se dice so so yes S A S A W S A W. What else? Oh. So. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, let me see. Let me choose a person directly. Uh, let me see. Pamela, what do you think about this? 
Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Mm, if you don't have the, the correct safety measures, I think yes, because um, in a in a manufacturing plant, there is a lot of big machinery. And if you don't use in the correct way, can can occur uh, an accident. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, an accident can occur or something bad can happen. Excuse me. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you very much, Pamela, for your opinion or participation. Fantastic. Now, second question. I need more opinions in this one too. Would a safety program prevent accidents? Would a safety program prevent accidents? What do you think about this, Antonio? Would a safety program prevent accidents? What do you think about it? Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. can, you, can you explain why? Yeah, maybe because it's, it's necessary or, or mandatory for every employees. Okay. So uh, will, will be a program prevent, to prevent accidents, maybe in a plant or, or a company or manufacturing. Okay, okay. It's mandatory. Okay, it's mandatory. Okay, all right, all yes. right. Excellent, that's okay. Uh, Hector, what do you think about this? Will a safety program prevent accidents? No, teacher. No prevent reduce accidents because okay. <clears throat> because uh, like a human uh, people people maybe uh, we have for the cansancio como dice cansancio sorry cansancio como se pronuncia uh, the tire zone tire zone the uh, the tired people is is uh, have my my mayor possibility uh, get a injury for me no prevent reduce reduce the accidents okay okay it reduces accidents all right all right your your opinion is, is fantastic yes thank you thank you for that isabel what do you think about this isabel would a safety program prevent accidents yes <clears throat> Helps helps to prevent the accident. Okay. And maybe not a one hundred percent, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe not a one a uh, a one hundred percent, but it does. It helps. Okay. Yeah. Now, look at this one. What type of rules do you think a safety plan has? What kind of rules do you think a safety plan has? Guys, safety plan. What kind of rules do you think it has? Hello? Teacher? Yes? I think... Uh... Uh, correct and simple rules. Only uh, maybe only five words. For example, use helmet, mm -hmm. use glove. Don't don't uh, pass here. Uh, I know, I think is a short short uh, oraciones. Se me olvidó. Uy. Sentences. Uh, sentences. Short sentences, maybe mm -hmm. five five words. I think. Okay, I will call. I will call in commands. Ah, okay. command. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Command. Yes. Okay, Hector. Thank you. Thank you. I like your opinion. Yes. Uh, let me get. Let me get. Uh, Christopher's opinion. Christopher, what what can you say about this? 
like uh, well like well others say don't prevent they are like uh, reduce the the percentage to 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 who to have an accident so this problem had to be had to know how to uh, have the instructions or commands to all areas depending in the area for example if you are in the in a factory with i use your goggles your boots your uh, gauntlets correct if you are in an office all day you have to sit correct to prevent obesity you have to walk i don't know some minutes in the office for 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 not for prevent every everything and 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 in all details to, to to the to the enterprise of the company how to identify places that are more uh, that the, the probably it's more than the, than an accident can happen and also they have the 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 area uh, specialized has to to communicate for all for all workers to know how to prevent the accident. All right, all right. You know a lot about this, huh? <laughs> yes, I, in my previous job, I, I, I am the commit and the Comité de Prevención y Salud Ocupacional, so I know something related to that. All right, all right. So this lesson is going to be easy for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, that's fantastic, that's fantastic. Thank you, Christopher, for your opinion. Excellent, excellent. Okay. People, very good. Thank you for the ones that participated. I know some of you are not available for the moment, and that's why I didn't ask you. Yes. I know who is available, I know who is not. Uh, let's, uh, for example, in a company, workers are not allowed to wear sandals. Wow, really? And believe me, that is, that this is simple a rule has a way to cover that. Really? Wow, okay. Okay. So sandals are not, are not allowed. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, it's like it's like me. It's like me. Uh, I have to well three jobs, right? But in the first one, in the first one, I can wear whatever I want. In the second one, no, I have to wear a, a long sleeve shirt with a tie and with with the dressing pants or dressing or uh, dressing. Uh, yeah, pretty much dressing pants, formal pants, and formal shoes, of course. Yeah, but I have to move from one job to another, so I don't have time to to change my clothes. Right, and uh, so I use I wear jeans because at the school I have to be moving around, yes, and I can have an accident with, with the formal pants, you know, because uh, jeans are more more uh, durable than these these formal pants. Now we're gonna continue down here with the conversation. This topic is a little weird, people, <laughs> so we're gonna try to to make it easy, all right. Read the following conversation between employees at a manufacturing plant. They are talking about the new company's safety measure plan. Okay, as you can see, you can see three guys over here. This, this guy with a helmet, the guy with no helmet, and the guy with a helmet. Okay, yes, let's, let's start. Uh, look, we got Joel and Diego over here. Gee, have, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them every, anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. They are, sorry, there are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, uh, earplugs, store uh, tools in proper location. So my goggles uh, and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit sc scatter tools outside the tool room. Right, yes. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary here? Scattered. Questions, people, about the vocabulary? Teacher. Hi. What is the meaning of the Googles? 
Douglas. Yes. Oh, okay. How do you call it? People in Spanish, how do you call it in Spanish? Goggles. I really I'm sorry? No, no. Hey. Google Glass. I can't remember the word in Spanish. <laughs> I can't remember. Lentes. Lentes. Exactly, yes, yes. The goggles, but, but they are big. Uh, they are big. They are not like regular glasses. They are big. It's your geese geese a uh, uh, expression. It's a uh, word I don't know, or is it's like Diego I don't know. Mm -hmm. D the first. Oh the first G. Uh -huh. G. 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 It, uh, oh G yes. It's a word. It's a word that we use a lot. G. Okay, it means mm -hmm. it, it means Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> it's like G, like oh no, like G A. All right, that's what it is. Yes, it's like you you use G when when you have a problem. Okay, when you don't see anything, uh, what you have, or or when there's something bad bad happening, like G. Where are my goggles? E. Oh, okay. E. And the la and in the last is cut is scattered. 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 What? Scattered. Scattered. But this one is scattered. Scattered tools. It's like como herramientas regadas o esparcidas. Uh -huh. Pero son uh, like like scattered in el piso. Okay. Regadas. Yes. It's like the sort the sort thing. Ah, something like or it's when you break you break your window, you have scattered mm -hmm. glass, scattered glass ah. on the floor or uh, in the ground. The ground, yes, that's okay. scattered. Okay. More questions. Okay. More questions, people. Yes, I got the word here in Spanish. I was looking for G in Spanish. It's caramba. <laughs> yes. G. All right. No more questions? Okay. I am going to read again. I need you guys to listen to the pronunciation of the words. I'm going to go slowly for you guys to really, really pay close attention to them. G, have you have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber, uh, rubber boots, earplugs, store tools in proper location. So my goggles and the other th tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Right? There you go. We got three questions down here. All right. We're going to practice the conversation as usual. And I need you guys to work on part number three, please. Conversation and then part number three, okay? Let's do this, let's do this. Let me make the groups in this moment. I am going to be monitoring you guys. So please try to work as much as you can. Try to practice as much as you can. Let me make them right now. I'm
Okay, guys, go. I just created them, join them. <clears throat> has been designed to provide scarred tools outside the tool room. Okay. Okay, I start. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay G. Hey, my safety Google's being stolen. I don't see, I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear air protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber butts, earplugs, short <clears throat> tool in proper location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety uh, plan has been designed to prohibit it, prohibit prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay. If you want, uh, we we try. It. Uh, resolve the the sentence or continue practice. Mm, we can we can try to 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 answer the questions. Don't worry. Okay. The first one says, "What items is Joe looking for?" Okay, I think is his safety goggles. Yes, the safety goggles. Yes. Google. Salud, hija. Goggles. Repetition. Goggles. Goggles. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next is what is the new safety measure about? To to require to wear. You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, air blue, store tools in proper location. So my Google and the other tools I lost around here have been take, taken away. Goggles, goggles. Goggles. No, <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit uh, scattered 
Skatered. Teacher? Skatered? Scattered. Con, con de al final, scattered. The, scattered. Scattered. Yes. Scattered. Scattered to outside the tools room. Okay. Okay. Uh, ahora empiezo yo. Yes. Gui, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflected vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boot, air plug, store tool in the proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around on the on here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scarred tool outside in the tool room. Prohib prohibit. Prohibit. <clears throat> what did you ah, prohibit? Start, start over, please. Start mm -hmm. over it. Uh, again, teacher? Start over. Yes, please. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Could you start? Uh, it's an eye. Yeah. Oh, my ear. Okay. Start, Isabel. Yeah. G, have my safety goggle been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Goggles. 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 No, no, no. Goggles. It's with A, with A. Suena como A. G, G. No es go. G. 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 Goggles. 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 No, eh? Okay. G. G. No, go. Goggles. Your goggles. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You got to be kidding. What are this mission about? You are required to wear your protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ears plugs, store tools in the proper location. So my goggle and the other tools, I guess around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tools room. Okay. Jo Holman joined us. Yes, he's there, I don't know. Holman? You want Holman? Could you start? Hi. Hello, hello. Hi. Hola, eh. Yes. I have a problem with the microphone. microphone. Probably yeah. so, probably so. Can you hear me? Yes. We can. But so I see. <laughs> if, he, if, he, if he gets fine connection, please I include him in the part in the in the conversation and also have him participate, please. Hey, yes, I will see you soon. I'll be back. Yeah, and another one. And another one. The the tools maybe have been taken away because this is a, a main reason. The people say you need to put all in the proper location. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm trying yes. to explain. I don't know if you understand me. Yes, yes. Okay. Because, because. Um, Somebody has stolen the, the tools. Yes. Because yes. the employees and put everywhere the tools. Yes. And the ruler say you need to put the tools in the same in a place, proper location. in the uh -huh. proper location. And then my opinion, why should tools not be scared 
in the production plan, porque no deben estar ahí regadas. Because it's stolen and Eagles being stolen. I don't see them anywhere. Yes, sir. Yes. And we need sharing the screen. Oh, sorry. Yes, now you can do it. Thank you. See you later. Messi, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Sería como, um, como Messi. <laughs> <laughs> what is it to understand the production plan? Because you 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 wouldn't have a messy a messy um, space work. No, no, ten, no, debemos de mantener un, un, un espacio de trabajo desordenado. Algo así podría ser también. Yeah, is it, is it a new, uh -huh. Another one. Yeah. I think we have the the this tree for the number three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Ah, teacher's coming. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have a question. <laughs> we have teacher, a question. Teacher, excuse me. I only take one hour because I have a lot of work right now in my office. But right now is, como se dice, me escape. I, mean, uh, I got away. <laughs> I got because away. It, okay. And, and maybe, and I, in some minutes, I need to far away for my my office. All right, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's too much for me today, but it's the last it's, days to the month. It's exactly and that. Then, yes, I understand. I understand. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Amel, what was your question? Uh, the pronunciation uh, yeah. of, of safety Googles or Googles? Neither. <laughs> Neither. Neither. Oh my God. It's it's ga 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 goggles. 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 Yes. Goggles. Goggles. But but it's not a complete a. It's not a completa. Okay. Just ga. Goggles. Ga garganta. Ga ga goggles. Three goggles. Goggles. Googles. <laughs> Google. is, why not? Why not? Right? In English is sometimes. Yes. Good. Why not? Like because why because not? the because the Google for swimming all always say Googles. <laughs> okay. But maybe yeah. the correct word is goggles. Goggles. Yes. Goggles. 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 And the pronunciation for. Um, this in the well, last uh, scattered. Uh, no, pro scattered. Prohibit. Prohibit. Oh. Prohib prohibit. 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 Or prohibit. Prohibit. Yes. Prohibit. 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 Okay. When someone okay. prohibit, when someone prohibits something, we want to do it more. <laughs> <Prohibit>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when we have prohibitions, we want to break the prohibitions and do the things, you know. Uh -huh. Break the rules. <laughs> exactly. We're humans. We break the rules. <laughs> yeah, break the okay. rules. <laughs> okay, we finished the 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 question, teacher. Uh but I didn't hear you practice, did I? No. You don't hear. Uh -huh. Okay, can yeah. you do it, please? I will okay. Really that. Yes. Um, start. If you want, I will start. Um, G, okay. have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. You, Fatima? Oh, sorry. Your goggles have been taken away. Yeah. There are new safety measures in the plant. Goggles. 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 Um, you, you've got to be kidding. 
what are those measures about? You are required to wear air protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, air plugs, store tools in proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away? Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit a scar outside the tool room. Mm -hmm. Okay, outside, all right, all right. Goggles, I don't, sometimes I don't understand English, right? Sometimes I, sometimes I ask myself like, why, why, why? How do you say, how do you say tele in English, television? How do you say radio in English, right, radio? With you, uh -huh. <laughs> right, right. Yes. Why, why yes. door is puerta and why not words? Why, why ventana is window and not ventana, right? <laughs> yeah. <It's nice. laughs> and computer, computer easy, right? Computadora, computer. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, <laughs> English, right? <laughs> English difficult to understand. All right. Uh, just give me give me a couple of minutes, people. I'm gonna go to one more group, and that's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. The new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scarlet to outside the to room. Yeah. Sí. Pero aquí pregunta en nuestra opinión, o sea. If the tools are, uh, be, are because uh -huh. because because the the tools carried outside the two room and is uh a the como diría disorder mess. Uh -huh. Yes, it is it's a mess and and maybe uh, Joel uh, is is not find the uh, your Google your goggles. Mm -hmm. uh, you're number three, right? Yeah, number three. Yes, Hector, tell me. Yeah, increase is a good good word. Increase, increment. In uh, no, next day. Yeah, it's a good one. Okay, and uh, uh, for me, it increased the probable possibility uh, for for get injured and and increase the risk uh, accident to uh, get accident. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, we have. A, Three answer for the question. For each number three. Question. For number three. Number three. Yes, teacher. Number okay. three. All right. All right. Uh, well, then let's go back to the main session right now. We're going to continue sharing over there. Let's go back. I'll go back. One, two. Okay, we're waiting for one person. One person still not here. <clears throat> okay, uh, let me share the book again. 
right over here. Look, we got the questions. What items is Joel looking for? Guys, what items is Joel looking for? Do you know? Can you mention the items that he is looking for? Guys, can you mention the item that he is looking for? Coil looking his goggles. Fatima, repeat, please. Coil looking his goggles. Coil is looking. Who else is looking? Is it will be Joel is looking for his goggles. Okay, okay. Yes, I think everybody agrees here over here. The second question says, what is the new safety measure about? What is the new safety measure about? Guys? Your answer? The new, the new safety measure is you have to wear a protection gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, and store the tools in a proper location. Okay, okay. Those are the, the, the safety measures that the person was mentioning up there. Thank you, thank you for that. Three, in your opinion, why should tools be not, sorry, why should tools not be scattered in the production plant? What do you think about this? Over here, I would like to get different opinions because it says here in your opinion. And I want to hear what you guys think about this. All right. Uh, for this one, we're going to go one by one or group by group. The first group that, we, um, that I need the participation from is this group. It's uh, Antonio and Christopher. What do you have in the last one, Antonio and Christopher? Yes, we are discussed, discussing the, uh, our opinions. So we have two, two opinions, right? The, the first one is because uh, the tools are not to be scattered to prevent to what uh, any accident happen during the, the production, it's, it's working, right? And the other, it's, keep, it's keeping clean the area, clean, clean the area of your work. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, Christopher, thank you very much for that. Uh, Antonio, are you going to uh, say something else or add? Yes, teacher, it is the same. The theory is to prevent accidents in the another is, is to keep in a clean area. Okay, okay, the same, right? Yes, yes, okay. Thank you, thank you, Chris. Uh, Christopher and Antonio for your participation. Uh, Hector, Isabel and Holman, what is your opinion about this, about this question? Will it, it will increase the possibility to get injured, teacher? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Repeat, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, will, um, will increase, 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 get uh, the possibility to get injured? Okay, we'll increase the possibility to get injured. All right. Yes, you are right. Let me get the other one here. Uh, Fatima? Pamela and, and Rosalina, yes. You guys. Anybody? It's question number three. Question number three. Yes, teacher. In this case, um, we think that um, have um, have the the tools scatter it can cause an accident, mm -hmm. and and you can't have your workspace uh, messy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And how how is your house? <laughs> I have my I have my bedroom clean. <laughs> I don't know. 
People, how, how are your rooms? Organized, clean, or a complete mess? Organized. So, so. <laughs> Organized, I don't believe you. More or less, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> More or less, oh no, I'm sorry, Rosa. I think it's a mess, right? <laughs> Must be a mess. It's okay, it's okay. My, my, my room is a mess. Honestly, my house is a mess, it's dirty. I haven't cleaned over here for over a month. Yes. No, less than a month, probably five, five, uh, three weeks that I haven't cleaned. I don't have time. I work in the morning, I work in the afternoon, and I work at night. I don't have time. <laughs> so, but it's, it's, it's messy, a little messy. If you see animals over here, it's because, you know, it's normal. You see some animals over here in my house. Yeah. They live here. <laughs> it's not true, all right. Well, excellent, thank you very much for your participation. Now we're going to continue and I'm going to explain to you how we use passive voice. Before we do that, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna uh, write a word, this one. Okay, look, emphasis. What is emphasis, people? Guys, what is emphasis? Mm -hmm. It's like, um, it's like put more attention to something. Okay, uh, you said to, okay, sorry. to pay attention to a specific task. Okay, yes. Uh, let me see. Richard, can I? Yes. See? Uh, I think that. Emphasis is when you remark some, something. Okay, mark something, all right. All right, yeah, yeah, it works. Mark something, okay. Yes, Rosa. Uh, when you put attention, a specific song. song. Okay, uh, pay attention, sorry, pay attention. Can you repeat, please? When you put a uh, pay attention in something. Okay, to something. Yeah. Okay, Christopher, yes. That's when you highlight something. Okay, when you highlight something. To Okay, to highlight something, yes. And the, uh, I'm writing this because the topic, the topic that we're going to, the grammar topic that we're going to study is, is has to do with emphasis, you know, and uh, the importance, the importance of something specific, okay? So basically emphasis is to highlight something, okay? Uh, or to pay attention to something or to mark something, yes. It's something very specific and you are concentrating a lot on that. Yes, but let me show you how this is done. Okay, get ready, we're gonna practice a lot here. I'm sharing the presentation with you guys. I don't know if you see it. If you don't see it, just wait and be patient because you will eventually. Okay, in case you didn't know, in case you didn't know, today is a class number 22. Okay, tomorrow 23, and then we're gonna continue with 24, etc. The last one is 25. Okay, very good. Let me show you this again. Look at it. Let's get down to business. Look, passive voice. We use passive voice to emphasize on action, on the action, sorry. Sorry. Okay, we use passive voice to emphasize on the action, 
and not on the performer or doer. Let's take a look at passive voice with the present perfect. We're going to be studying passive voice, but uh, with present perfect only, okay? Present perfect only. We're not going to use another tense, only present perfect, okay? I got an example here, look, people. Uh, Fatima, read it, please, read the example. The, manager, the managers have detected many hazards. Okay. The Good. emphasis is on the managers. The managers have detected many hazards. The emphasis, people, where is the emphasis here in this sentence? Where is the emphasis, the emphasis in the sentence? It's here, here, right here. Okay, the managers have detected, like we are paying attention to what the managers have done. Okay, or our attention is for the doer or the performer. That is not passive voice. Eso no es pasivo, pasivo, okay? This is active, active voice. Active voice. Passive voice is this. This is passive voice. Look, many hazards have been detected have been detected. The emphasis is on the action, not on the subject, okay? We're not talking about the subject, many hazards, no, okay? People, this is how it goes, okay? In Spanish, los gerentes, excuse me, los gerentes han detectado muchos peligros, muchos problemas, okay? The next one, muchos peligros o problemas han sido detectados, okay? Many hazards have been detected is very, very formal. Passive voice is very formal, okay? And passive voice is for the, 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 the action, okay? It's for the action and not the people. Let's take a look at more examples. Look at this one. The human resources representative has uploaded some wrong files, okay? The human resources representative has uploaded some wrong files. Yes. Okay, that's the normal sentence. Look, over here we have, let me tell you this in Spanish. En voz pasiva, eliminamos eso que está acá. El sujeto. No es necesario el sujeto. Okay. This is present perfect, has uploaded some wrong files. El que es, el que era más bien, el objeto se convierte en el sujeto. Yes? So, your subject is going to be some wrong files. Okay. Let me show it to you. Look. Some... That's, that's optional. Some wrong files have been uploaded. Okay. Some wrong files have been uploaded. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Do you have any questions? Guys, any questions? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Look, no tenant has paid the rent. No tenant has paid the rent. No tenant is a subject, has, is the auxiliary, paid, is the verb in the past participle form. The rent is the object in this case. So the tenant, no tenant has paid the rent. Ningún, how do you say tenant in Spanish, people? In Spanish, tenant, tenant? Uh, it's the person that lives in a building, in apartments. Inquilino, inquilino, yes. Inquilino. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know. Thank you, Christopher, yes. Ningún inquilino ha pagado la renta. Here. The first one. Esa es la que está acá arriba, okay? This is not passive voice. Passive voice is the other one, okay? Yes. Look, passive voice, the rent has not been paid. The rent has not been paid. 
la renta no ha sido cancelada, ¿ok? O no se ha pagado la renta, ¿ok? La renta no ha sido pagada. Observen, ningún inquilino ha pagado la renta. La renta no ha sido pagada, ¿ok? Borramos inquilino porque no es necesario incluirlo porque ya sabemos que ellos no se pagan. We don't really need them because we know that they pay every month. Okay, yes. Let's continue here. Oops. All right, let's continue. Look, the angry lady has sabotaged the event. The angry lady, okay, la señora enojada o la mujer enojada, ha saboteado el evento. The angry lady has sabotaged the event. People, can you please confirm if the spelling is correct? Is it with double, double B? Sabotage, please check. Passive voice, the event has been sabotaged. Okay, sabotaged. Only one B. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I was thinking like only one B. Yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking. Yeah. I'm sorry. It happens sometimes, okay? Uh, la señora enojada ha saboteado el evento. El evento ha sido saboteado. Been sido, ha sido, okay? Yes. Let's continue, look. The software engineers have put the company in jeopardy. The software, software engineers have put the company in jeopardy. Guys, look, I don't know the passive voice. Can you mention the passive voice? Mm -hmm. Hello? Teacher, maybe um, the the company has been um, put in jeopardy. I don't know. Yes, fantastic, excellent. Thank you very much. Up there it says, arriba dice, the software engineers have put the company in jeopardy. Okay. Los ingenieros han, han puesto la compañía en, en peligro o en riesgo. La compañía ha sido puesta en riesgo. Abajo. Okay. Passive voice. Yes. Remember, with, with passive voice, our concentration or our emphasis is in the action. Active voice, the action or well, the emphasis is in the person or the group of people. Okay, thank you, Pamela, for your participation. Another one, look at it. My camera is off because my internet is not stable for the moment. I'm gonna turn it back on in a few minutes. Another example, Magdaleno and Antonio have spilled the hot coffee on the files. Oh no. Hello? Anybody? The files teacher has been spilled with the hot coffee. Repeat, please. <clears throat> the file has been spilled, spilled with hot coffee. Mm -mm. No. No. Uh -huh. Hello. Teacher. Uh -huh. The hot coffee have been stealing on the fire. Hot coffee has been spilled on the files. Yes. Hot coffee has been spilled on the files. Up there it says, Magdaleno y Antonio han derramado café caliente en los archivos o sobre los archivos. Café caliente ha sido derramado en los archivos. Okay, that's how it goes. Yes. Do you have any questions so far? Any questions so far? 
we need two more examples, teacher. Sorry? We need two more examples about okay. possible. Yes, yes. Another one, look. Lucy and Fatima have not changed the locks. Lucy and Fatima have not changed the locks. What is locks? Hello? No, you don't know? Locks, uh, la, la, how do you call this in Spanish? Cerradura, chapa. Yes, thank you, thank you, yes, yes. Okay, what about the passive voice, the passive voice? Tell me, tell me. Uh -huh, passive voice. The locks has not been changed. Okay, okay, yes, yes, okay. Let me put it over here. Let me try. Hopefully it will work. Lisa, could you repeat, please? It, the, log, the logs has not been changed. Has or have? Have, sorry, have. There you go, plural, plural. The logs have been, sorry, have not been changed. The locks have not been changed. All right. Yes. We don't we don't need the people here. All right. There's another one. I think there's another one. Okay. The suppliers have not brought our package. The suppliers have not brought our package. How would you make this one in the passive voice? Mm -hmm. Easy people, look. Our package, hello. I'm helping you, I'm helping you. Our package. Guys? Has not been. Been? Brought. Broke. Okay. Our package has not been brought. There you go. Stop there. Okay. Our package has not been brought. All right. Let's keep moving. And there's no, there's no other example, I think. But there are like five of them. Okay, look. Now we're going to practice, but before we practice, do you have any questions? No? Okay, let me explain. This topic is complicated, a little complicated. I, I will explain in Spanish. En cada oración, después de un verbo, va un objeto, okay? Yes, si es un lugar, no aplica. Okay, it can be only people or an object, yes. Este objeto se convierte en pasivo, se convierte en el sujeto, yes. Our package, our package. Then we use auxiliary, I'm going auxiliar, okay. Has, you can compare, look, has. Now we need not. And uh, well, here has not been brought. Okay, that's what we do. Okay, that's what we do. All right, our package has not been brought. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a couple of examples that you need to do alone. Look at this ones. Passive voice practice. Let's practice this passive voice. Let me read, I'm going to read examples to you. If there's a word that you don't understand, please let me know. Francisco and Anna have given money to charity. The experts have repaired the machinery. Darling has designed a new logo. Google founder, founders have modified some pictures. 
The students have written paragraphs and the company has appointed Sarah as the new floor supervisor. Guys, go ahead. I'm going to give you like three or four minutes to do this. This is active voice. You are going to put these sentences in the passive voice. Yes. Let's go, let's go. My eyes are burning people, excuse me. Yes, they are burning. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know when you finish, okay?
Isaac, you finished? Are you still working on it? Are you guys done? I finished it. Thank you, Fatima. Who else finished? I finished. Pavela, thank you. Okay, you see. Yes. Let's see. Let's uh, let's start. The first one says, Francisco and Anna have given money to charity. And uh, since Fatima was the first one, we start with Fatima, yes. <laughs> In this case, I have, um, do that? Mm -hmm. Yes, doubt, I have a doubt. A doubt, I don't know, be, Money has been given to charity. Wait. No. Wait, wait, give me a second. Yes. Yes. I was looking for a celebration. Ah, there you go. So the celebration, the celebration thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes. Okay. Money has been given to charity. Yes. Thank you, Fatima, for sharing. The second example says, the experts have repaired the machinery. Isabel, what do you have? Guys, if you, if you, don't, if you are not sure, don't worry. We are learning, okay? Yes. Isabel, hi. Isabel, hello. Are you sleeping? We cannot hear you. Everybody who are sleeping, <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm sorry. It's it's difficult. I know. Antonio, thank you, Antonio. Can you please the second one, Antonio? The machinery has been repaired. Okay, the machinery has been repaired. Excellent, Antonio, very good. The machinery has been repaired. Repaired with D at the end. Repaired. All right, excellent, Antonio, thank you very much. Pamela, can you read the other one, the third one? But let me read it. Darling has designed the new logo. Okay, the number three, um, Darlene has designed the new logo. The passive voice is the new logo has been designed. 
Okay, the new logo has been designed. Yes, thank you very much for, for your participation. Hector, can you read the other one? It says Google founders have modified some features. Mm. <clears throat> Number four, teacher. Yes. Yes, that's the one. Okay. Uh, I think some features has been modified. Come again, please. Some feature has been modified. Hmm. You said some features have or has? Have, have. There you go. Have, because it's plural, features, okay? Uh -huh. Yes. I get it. Thank some you. features have been modified. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh, but I, will, I changed it. Look, I'm going to this up. I have some Google features have been modified. That's what I have, okay? Yes. Let me see. Uh, thank you, Hector, for your participation. Fantastic. Christopher, the students have written paragraphs. Uh, students have written paragraphs. Pra paragraphs have been written. Okay. Paragraphs have been written. Yes. Excellent, Christopher. Thank you very much. Coleman, can you read the last one or share the last one? The company has appointed Sarah as the new floor manager. manager. <clears throat> uh, the company has been appoint, appointed Sarah and the new floor supervisor. Mm, no. No. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. Mm, let me see, Roberto, do you have it? Um, the new floor supervisor has been appointed. Okay, the new floor supervisor has been appointed. That, that is one option. I have another option. Uh, that, the new supervisor has been appointed, yes. Look, I'm gonna share with you my answers. And look at the last one. Sarah has been appointed as the new floor manager. That's what I have, okay? Money has been given to charity. The machinery has been repaired. The new logo has been designed. Uh, some Google features have been modified. Paragraphs have, have been written. And Sarah has been appointed as the new floor manager. Manager, sorry, sorry, supervisor. What is appointed, people? Appointed. Any ideas about appointed? No? Select or choose? Yes. Uh, let me see, let me, where's the, this one? How do you get the, the, the okay. I was like, oh no. There you go. It's in the in the chat, all right. Appointed, nombrado, right? Seleccionado, seleccionada. Yes, that's what it is. Okay. Very good, very good. We got that over there. All right. We're going to continue with the book exercise. If we after that, if we have time. We're going to continue with the practice, but it's going to be a little bit more challenging. I'm going to give you, I'm going to be giving you oral examples and you're going to be transforming them into passive voice. If we get to have uh, a few minutes later on or after we finish the book. The activity that we have in the book will take a, a few minutes because it's long. Before we go to the activity, part number four, look. How to use passive voice with the present perfect tense. The passive voice is used when the emphasis of the sentence is on the action and not on the subject. Okay, remember, we're focusing on the action, the action, not the person. The person is not relevant. Okay, look, letter A, your goggles have been taken away. Have been taken away is where we're emphasizing on. Look, 
uh, in contrast to they have taken your goggles away. Mm, we're talking about they. Okay, our emphasis is on they. In sentence A, the person who took away the goggles is not important. I told you it's not relevant or it's not needed, it's not necessary. Let me repeat, in sentence A, the person who took away the goggle is not important. The fact that they were taken all away is, uh, is instead emphasized, okay? Yes. Uh, let me see, it says here, what? Question, look, have my safety goggles been stolen in contrast to have they installing my safety goggles? Yes, two different things here. This question focuses on the safety goggles and not in the person who stole them. The second question though, focuses on who stole the safety goggles. Like have they, they, all right? Our emphasis is on they. All right, very good. Down here, it's part number five. Look at it. Complete the following sentences and questions in the passive voice. Choose the appropriate verb. Compare answers with a partner. Issue, innovate, make, train, create, and give. What is issue, people? As a verb. What is issue as a verb? Guys, hi. No, you don't know? I issue in this case, emitir, emitir, okay, emitir, all right. Okay, guys, let's start, let's start, let's work on this. We're going to make passive voice, passive voice examples. Let's continue, let's continue. Let me make this bigger. Okay, there you go. Guys, go ahead, work, please. Let me know when you finish. What did I do? What no, no, no. Moving a little things here. Trying to create a secret. Uh... Wait, I did something bad here. <laughs> I opened a different window. Do you have the book with you guys? That way you can use yours, not mine. Sorry, let me bring it back. I opened a different window by mistake. Okay, we are here.
Let me know if you have any questions or if you finish. Teacher, hmm? please remember me what it means issue. Issue, emitter. Ah, okay, thank you. Pamela, remind me all. Re remind me, remind me. Well, let me put it in the chat, okay. Yes, there you go. You can check the chat. Okay, thank you. Remind me all. Guys, let me know when you finish. Guys, I'm still waiting, okay? Just let me know.
Let me stop sharing here. Oh, were you looking at them? Sorry. It's back. You finished? Done, done. You finished, people? It's time to, to, to share your answers. Okay. Are we ready? Yes, no, no, yes. Okay, let's just start right now. You got the first one. Let me re let me see. I'm gonna choose a person directly. Uh let me see. Christopher, help us with the first one, please. We the the first three new safety measures have been innovated. Okay. Have been three new safety measures have <laughs> have been innovated. Okay, have been innovated. Okay, have been innovated. Guys, do you agree with Christopher? Yes. For me, it's creative. I was thinking about that one too, but I don't know about the other one. I haven't read the other one, so maybe you think it's correct, or maybe not. Let's choose. Let's choose. Have been. Excuse me. Have been created too. We can see that one later on down there. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. Let's continue with the second one. Yes, Hector, please. We. We, um, we have been given new earplugs. Okay, we have been given, yes. We have been given new earplugs. Okay, yes, we have been given, given, yes. Thank you, thank you. Let's continue with the other one, Pamela, number three. Mm, number three is the new safety goggles are nice. They have been innovated. Okay, 
The new safety goggles are nice. They have been innovative. Let's write that one down. They have been, they have been innovative, right? Let's continue. We still, are, we, we're pending with number one, okay? We're gonna check that one later on. Check that one. Fatima, number five. Excuse me, number four. The new steel to put. Steel toe, toe, steel toe boots. Toe boots have been made. Okay, have. Oh. Have been made of genuine leather. Leather. Genuine, yes. uh, genuine leather, yes. Okay, thank you, thank you for reading that one. Let's continue with number five. Number five, let me see. Antonio, can you help us with number five? They don't make that, teacher. You don't have it? Okay. Do you have number six, Antonio? Neither. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. Roberto, do you have number five? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, okay. Holman? Not yet, teacher. No, nobody. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Isabel, what about you? Okay. Fatima, do you have it? No, teacher, don't have. No? Okay. Who has it, people? Who finished that one? The number five. Yes, please. Thanks. Has the new safety officer has been trained? Has the new safety officer been? Been trained. trained. Okay. Has the new safety officer been trained? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And the last one, number six, anybody? Have we issued the new helmet? Have we been? Mm -hmm. Abby. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Issue. Yeah. So exactly issue. So up here, up here is not being innovative. Innovative, I think, is number three. Number one is have been created. Yes. We can use have been innovative with no problems. That's why I'm going to leave them. Okay. I'm going to leave both because both are correct. Yes. Do you have any questions, guys? Any questions? Okay. No, teacher. Yes, it's okay. All right. We have finished this time or today. It is the first time we finished early. <laughs> no, the second time we finished early. The first time was with the tongue twister, remember? And today was the second time. Guys, uh, well, quick reminder, the platform, you have to continue working on it. Yes. It has to be complete by Friday. Yes, by Friday. Uh, well, I think everybody has finished. I haven't checked. Last time I checked was on Sunday and uh, I haven't. So I'm going to do it today after class. I'm gonna check it, check it out to see how you guys are progressing. Yes. If you haven't finished and you still have any questions, um, I can help you with no problems, okay? Yes. Oh no, I have opened something else. Moment, please. <laughs> uh, no. There you go. Closer, closer, closer. Before. Okay, there you go. I was I was checking, but hold on, give me a second. This might, you might not know. And uh, over here I will see who is really behind.
Give me a second. I'm, I'm just trying to find the info here. So almost everybody has finished. You can see that now, except, except I'm going to mention the people that need to finish some activities. Uh, the first person, Adriana, she has to finish the, the, this week, week four. Yes, uh, Holman, you need to work on the third, well, fourth week, this one. Magdalena, two, yes, this person is me, that's me. Pamela, hello. Pamela, hello. Can you stay after class, please? Okay, teacher. Thanks, thanks. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to take attendance. People, it's almost Friday. Yes. Are you happy? Excited? <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see. Let me take attendance. And then after that, we will be free to go and sleep rest or watch TV. <laughs> All right, let me start. Carlos Elibaldo, Abrego Marmol. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Christopher Spidia Chipawa. Present teacher. Yes. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. Yes. Uh, Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Oops. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you, Hector. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Yes. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Laura Present. Yasmin. Yes, hello. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres was not here today. Lucy Nazali Juarez. Present. Magdalena was not here today. Nelson Antonio de Rodas. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Oscar Armando Romero. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos Hernandez. Present. And Rosa. I think she left early. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Livaldo. And thank you, Oscar, for confirming. People, well, it has been a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining this class today. I will see you tomorrow, all right? Have a good night, rest, go to bed, go to bed. Don't go, don't go, watch, don't go watch TikTok or YouTube or Sirius. Go to bed, sleep. <laughs> good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, good night, night everyone. I'm going to sleep here. All right, bye-bye, everyone. Sí, voy bien alegre, mi amor. ¿Todo bien? No, no cayó ahí. De... Una camisa de viejito. Give me a second, Pamela, because we still have two people here. Okay, apparently they are still there. Pamela, hi. Hi, teacher. I'm sorry to, to, to tell you this, but I was checking your progress. Do you have problems with the platform or uh, accessing to the platform? You don't have access? Yes, teacher. I I haven't worked in the last weeks. Yeah, because I was I was checking here and you only worked in the first one. I think the first one and the second one. But yes, I haven't worked the last weeks. Okay, if you want, I, I can, have to do the exercise. If you want, I can help you right now. We can we can uh, do it together. Okay. Share your your screen because it it, it has to be your computer. But before we do that, you, do you have any questions about the classes, the topics that we have studied?
Mm. No, teacher, not really. I I have understood the 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 topics. Okay, the topics have been understood. Hey, the pass topics it. have been. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. The number. Uh, number one. Can you share the screen? Or. Yes. Can you see it? I can see, yes. I can see it now. Okay. <laughs> All right, that one, that one. Yes, is the section two. Oh my God. I thought it only was the three and four. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, teacher. I told you, it's, you only work in the first week. Yes. You need to finish the second week, the third week, the fourth week, the midterm and the final exam. Yes. You can go little by little. You can do this one today and you can continue with it tomorrow. And then uh, on Friday, you can finish the rest. Uh, it says there, list uh, instruction, read the following conversation and type the appropriate phrase in the correct space. Okay. You got to choose one. Can you choose one? Uh, I don't know which one. I'm not gonna click. Oh, you gotta click. You gotta click on the options there. Mm. One of the good things I like. Uh huh. Okay. In number two, you didn't choose anything. I don't know which one, teacher. No, number two. Hi, uh, number two. Yeah, I don't see the options. The effort, some difficult decision, this stack. the most important factors maybe this one no it's not that one impossible no yes because it says one of the most important factors that this task requires r and this is r is plural and we're talking about one it has to be okay. It has to be plural, sorry, sorry. Plural, it has to be plural. Because we have R and R is plural. How many options um, do you have? Well, you one, one of the good things, but I, I don't know, it didn't make, no make sense for me. The second, the second one. 
Yes. It's not correct. But I don't know which one. Which the other efforts, one? The efforts this task requires. That one, that's the one, that's the one, yes. The efforts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Los esfuerzos que esta, eso que esta tarea requiere son importantes. Mm. Yeah, folks. Some different It can't repeat, right? No se puede repetir, ¿verdad? Me can. Only one incorrect. Okay. A number of customers. Why is incorrect? It's not plural teacher. It is plural, yes. A number of customers are satisfied with the performance of the new new mob. Yes, it's correct. Uh, remember, the platform has mistakes sometimes, so it's okay. Thank you. Yes. All right. Uh, um, well, you have a lot to do. I'm sorry, uh, Pamela. Yes, teacher. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it between today and tomorrow. Yes, please. Actually, it's it's a kind of like like uh, one of the mandatory aspects about this. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, Mamela, thank you very much for staying. I will see you tomorrow and please work on the platform. Okay, teacher. A pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.